Listen, it's not a mystery. It's not a mystery. Who did this to us? Whether you are North, uh, whether you are a Puerto Rican, whether you are Mexican, whether you are uh, uh, Chilean, whether you are uh, 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 give me some more El Salvadorian, El Salvadorian, whether you're Venezuelan, Colombian, whatever, whatever you are. This is what happened to you. We all have this as a history. All of us. Bring it out. All of us. And who did it? Who's responsible for it? With all of us. The so-called white man. The so-called white man. That's who, whose name in the Bible is Esau and Edom. That's his real name. That's what God called him. So when you open his Bible now, now you can see his picket itself. Now you can see his Bible. You can see him now. You understand? That's what the Lord was talking about in Revelations. We're, put, we're wiping your eyes with the south. Now you can see. Now you see him. Oh, that's who he is in the Bible. This is who I am in the Bible. Now you can see. You follow? Go ahead, read it. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Everlasting hatred. Come on. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel uh -huh. by the force of the sword. By the force of what? They, they, didn't, caught, they didn't shed our blood with... Uh, what was that the, the, the movie? I forget the name of it, but you know, you remember the movie? They just it was a like a disease or something, and we all just all the people just was killing themselves. You remember that? I forget the name of it. Not purge. No. Bird box. Bird box. Bird box. No, 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 no. That ain't what this talking about. By the sword. The Lord is very express. He's very plain, bro. He very plain. If we confuse, it's because we chose to be confused. The Lord is very plain. He said, y'all did it. By the sword, by the sword. Get Genesis 25. I'm gonna show you something, bro. I'm gonna show. We got a little bit of time. I'm gonna show you a little. I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show. You, come here, sis. You, you know what we're talking about right now? Don't be afraid. We have it because we just want everybody to hear the message. Okay? You listening? Come close. Come close. Come close. Come close. Brother, you listening? Come close. Come close. Watch this. What we're talking about is we identifying the nations in the Bible because we don't know who. Uh, uh, Jebusite is. We don't know who that is. We don't know who. What person on earth is an Israelite? We don't know that. We don't know who's an Ammonite, a uh, 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 Moabite. We don't know all these terms, right? So what we're doing is we're identifying a few key points for us to identify ourselves by. Right? Watch this. Genesis chapter 27 and verse 39. And Isaac, his father, answered and uh -huh. said unto him. So Isaac had the twins, right? Jacob and Esau, right? One of them was wicked as hell from creation, right? And the other was chosen, was blessed, right? Go ahead. Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. So he's telling, before Jake, I mean, before Israel, uh, Isaac, he passed away, he's giving, he's blessing his sons, right? He's telling them, this is going to be your prophecy for your future and your, your lineage. And he told Jacob what's going to be the prophecy for him and his lineage, right? So he's on Esau. He's on Esau, the twin brother of Jacob not right now, right? Watch this. And of the dew of heaven from above, uh -huh. and by thy so sword. Have the fatness of the earth, that means the best, the, the best of the best on earth. That's what it means. What people has the best of the best on earth? Bring it up. What people? As a whole people. Come on, bro, critically think, um, Donovan. If you're gonna say a white man. Not what I'm gonna say, which what do you identify? What do we see? That's how they identify themselves. Right. It's the so-called white man. That's, right. that's plain. The Lord makes this plain. Right. So the fatness of the earth shall they have. Right? Go ahead. And by thy sword. And by what? By thy sword. By thy sword. Shalt thou live. Shalt thou live. So how do you get that fatness? By this. That's how you got it. Rape, robbery, and murder. That's how he got it. So the Bible is identifying you and your enemy. That's what he's identifying. Drop that because I might have struck a chord. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 2868. Sure. Let's find out plainly that we're an enemy. Right? Remember, God is God is omnipotent, bro. He's omnipotent. We've made we've we 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 done tried to bring them down in our wickedness, right? But God is omnipotent. He created his chosen and he created their enemy also. He created their enemy also, right? Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Yeah. Now, you know, there's gonna be some history in here. Because it's, it's by the curses that we establish and identify who we are in the Bible, right? Who we are today, right? And it's also who we identify as our enemy. Because a lot of us got friends that are in other nations. Right. A lot of us, right? And some of us got work jobs where we're peaceful, we're cordial with the other nations, right? Some of us marry to the other nations, right? 
Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. Come on. Hello. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the word Egypt is a word for bondage, word for slavery, right? It's a, even God defines that in the Bible in Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. The word Egypt just means bondage. Understand? It doesn't, it do, it doesn't uh, unanimously means Northeast Africa. You understand? It just means bondage. Go ahead. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. It says with what? With ships. With ships. With ships. The Lord shall bring you into bondage or slavery again with ships. That's right. With ships. You tell me another people who has that as a history. It, it, no one. No one. Guess who sh who owns those ships? Guess who? Guess who owns these ships? Guess. The same white man. You you bet your bottom dollar. Right? Watch this. Go ahead. By the way, where am I speak unto thee? The homeland that we had, where Moses was telling us this, right? By the way, whereof I spake this unto you. Come on. Thou shalt see it no more again. You ain't never gonna see that again. Your homeland, that side of the globe, you're never gonna see it again. So don't be confused that I'm talking about you going back into the Egypt you just left. He's telling you, you're going to be scattered. That's what he's telling you. That's right. Come on. And there, ye shall be sold. And there, when you get off them ships, where, that you scattered into bondage, into Egypt again, you shall be sold. 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 Go ahead. Unto your enemies. Unto who? Unto your enemies. Unto who? Unto your enemies. God is not an author of confusion. He speaks plainly what we are to understand. So no matter all the evil and lies and confusion that's going on in this world, right? Our God is a God of wisdom. And as long as we apply it, as long as we study, as long as we listen to him, we're not confused out here. Right. We see plainly who's who and what's what. Plainly. It ain't confusion. This is simple. This place is simplicity. Go to Proverbs 1. This, this, all this hell, this destruction. You, can you smell that smell? I know you live in New York, right? So you're probably used to it. Bro, let me tell you, if you ain't know... It smells horrible here. It, this is terrible. This is terrible. I'm from Detroit, so so I'm not I'm not saying I come from a better place. My destruction or what I got used to at some point was equally as evil, equally as wicked. Teeth. But I got it, it, I got used to it. I got used to it. But the Lord, the Lord makes it to where you can see everything and what it is, everything and what it means. Come on. The Book of Proverbs, chapter one and verse twenty-two. So now. Watch this. How long, ye simple ones? The Lord says, how long, ye simple ones? You know what simple means? Uh, that's the nicer kind of thing. Stupid. This is a minister. It's it a minister right Yo, here. stop. Come, 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 come. Come, it's good to have you here. So what we're going over right now is the Lord addressing how long. He says, how long, ye simple ones? Right? How long he's simple? He's calling his children stupid. That's the brother Donovan just defined, right? The word simple means stupid. Lacks understanding, right? How long ye simple ones, come on. Will ye love simplicity? Will ye love simplicity? Meaning what this world has given you as normal. That's what right. this world has given you as knowledge and understanding. How long, read it again. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? This is what the Lord is asking us. How long y'all gonna like this? I made y'all kings. I made y'all to rule the earth, not a block, not a corner, not a gang. I made y'all to rule the planet, the earth. Subdue it, have dominion over everything living. How long are you gonna love this simplicity? This, this is what you like. This smell, this filth. Hey, this, we good with this? Keep it going, brother. Huh? You, right. bro, you gotta stay. Okay, you gotta stay. I'm in hell. I'm not all right, bro. I'm not all right. And I'm mad as hell, too. The scriptures say oppression maketh the wise man mad. Bring it up. I'm oppressed because my people are oppressed. I'm oppressed because I'm oppressed. And I know better. Come on. Where we at? Come on. How long, ye simple ones, uh -huh. will you love simplicity? That's the question the Lord asks us. Now that he done made it plain, he telling you who your enemy is. He telling you plain. He telling you who your, who, how to identify your actual race. Teach. Plainly. Plainly. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? Go ahead. And the scorners delight in their scorning. Because of some people, you know what scorning mean? They only want to talk SH. They only want to talk stupidity. They only want to reject and resist the correction and the wisdom of God. Bring it out. Right. So it says, and scorners delight in their scorning. So some people just ain't going to listen. That's why my brother Donovan right here is listening. 
and nobody, well, there's other people listening, but Donovan is right here listening. That's you understand? Right. Not everybody, this ain't for everybody. Say, God told us, hey, scorn is delight and they scorn it. They, they, they don't like that. They mad at you. They hate you. They want to kill you. Right. They're only afraid of the white man. They're not afraid to kill their brother. They're only afraid of paying for, for it from the white man, right? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth